What's going on? Well, there are a couple obscure videos about this on the internet. Uh, however, they're missing information and the other one is pretty inaccurate. Now, these are uh, thorium doped radioactive lenses. I've actually got a table of radioactive lenses here. This one's an old Fuji film over here. And these are Super Takamars. These are 50 millimeter F14s. And this is also a 51.4. There's a large selection of uh, radioactive lenses. A lot of them are Pentax. Uh, a lot of them are Fuji film. I got a lot of radioactive lenses. They make incredible bokeh. They have incredible image fidelity, or what you'd call micro contrast. However, they're unsuitable for video use because of the yellowing. The actual radioactive thorium is not a coating. It's actually doped into the glass. What does doping mean? It means it's actually in the glass itself. It changes the refractive index of light. What's the reason why it's there? Actually, people know about radioactive lenses. And uh, without getting super technical, you know, kind of know how you put... Of course, now we use uh, anti-stick skillets, but back in the day, we'd actually spray the frying pan so stuff wouldn't stick. Basically, it helps the light slip through faster through the glass because, of course, everything is electrical. Glass is not only an insulator, it's also a capacitor. And this is how it changes the refractive index of uh, the lenses and the lens elements so you're able to make them thinner. Um, some of the most amazing lenses, uh, image-wise, image output-wise, are uh, old radioactive lenses. But the great thing is that you can get these. I don't know how you can, if you could see this. Let me put this behind you. You can see the yellowing on this. Yeah. And they're not emitting um, merely alpha. They're emitting beta and gamma radiation. I've actually got a lot of videos on radioactive lenses. But there's a really cheap, and it'll only cost you $4 to remove the uh, yellow cast on these lenses. Now some people say, well, and it takes like two weeks, up to two weeks. So I'll stick the lenses in a sunny window. <laughs> well, if the window gets hot, see there's grease inside the helicoils, the actual uh, helicoil of uh, these lenses. There's grease. That's why that's smooth. When you heat a lens up, you end up with atomization of the grease. It starts to spread and it atomizes. And this is what ends up making lens haze. So getting a lens hot is never a good idea. And sticking it in a windowsill, a bright window, for it's just ridiculous. It can be done in under 48 hours. Um, depending on what country you're in, you probably don't have a Spencer. Spencers are in every mall over here. They sell weird, weird eclectic, hippie stuff, including UV lights. Groovy, man. You can get a UV bulb like this. It's a 75-watt ultraviolet bulb. Yeah? And they're $3.50. Or you can go on eBay if you don't have a Spencer's in your town and order one of these. So I got a lot of radioactive lenses. Some of mine have already been fixed of their yellowing. Now what you need to do... Um, by the way, there's two things I didn't bring in here. One is a like a portable light stand. Something that actually has a, a screw socket in it so you can actually articulate it. You, know, you have like a desk lamp with a real bulb attachment. I actually have those for studio lightings that are on the end of light stands. You know, screw that in so you can articulate it. You don't want to get it closer than roughly about six to eight inches from the front element because these actually generate quite a bit of heat. The other thing is, of course, a little desk van. You know, you could either have like one of, well, I got one of them behind the camera over there, just a, a regular fan, a movable fan. You know, they're plastic, they're $20. You use them when it gets hot to circulate the air. Um, you actually want to point that at uh, this arrangement as it's uh, removing the yellowing from the lens. You know, a few feet back. The only reason you're using a fan is to keep the lens from getting overheating and heating up the grease inside, which will cause haze inside the lens. And like I said, the UV bulbs actually generate a lot of heat. What you do is you take the rear lens caps off of both. You don't want the aluminum foil touching the rear element, obviously. What you're doing is you're actually adding a uh, aluminum foil reflector to the back, so it'll actually reflect that UV, give it better efficiency. Reflect that UV into the back of the lens. So I've got a little you know, bump back here where the UV is going right back into the lens, actually, after it's passing through the front of the lens. And if uh, you have more than one radioactive lens, you could actually, with one bulb, do uh, uh, two or three at a time. You could even do four, stick it in a, in a uh, U position, in a U configuration. Okay, and I need to make another little cup for the back of this lens. Remember, you're not scratching the rear element with the aluminum foil. You're just making a cup on the back. 
Now, I, this is a cloth-covered table. You would not want to do this because this bulb generates a lot of heat. I actually use a metal table, even wood. I would not want to do that, okay? Concrete or metal because you're not going to be leaving the house. You should never leave a hot bulb, you know, unattended. So this is something where you're there during the day, you know, and you need to turn it off when you go to bed. You don't want this on at night, obviously. Also, like I said, it generates a substantial amount of heat. And it will take you roughly about uh, 48 hours to get uh, complete uh, removal of the yellowing from the lenses if you buy one. And I know that they have these bulbs on uh, eBay also. But uh, there's one other thing that you need to do for peak efficiency. I can just do it like this. And, of course, you're going to bring your UV bulb, like I said, no closer than 6 inches inside your light mount. What you're going to do is you're going to place the lenses like this. You're making a funnel also for the UV like this. I'm going to build my little my little funnel here like this. Okay, so now I have a little light funnel. It's almost like you're it almost feels like you're cooking a turkey like this, right? You you you, <laughs> you wrap a chicken in aluminum foil and you start to cook it. You you really are cooking these lenses, but you don't want the heat. The only thing you want out of this bulb is the UV, not the heat. That's why you want to point a fan at this whole array. Like if this were a metal table, right? I've done this like four times before. I have a little portable fan. It's one of those little desktop fans. I got it pointed right like this so the lenses don't get hot. You don't want the grease inside the helicoil, you know, getting getting in a fluid state and starting to atomize because then you'll discover like, oh, I've, I've de-yellowed my radioactive lenses, but now there's haze inside and they're basically ruined. So you want to keep the lenses cool, right? Yeah, it's kind of like, what would it be like? It'd be just like some uh, chick laying on the beach trying to get a tan, but there's a nice breeze blowing by. And so she feels really cool and then she gets sunburned. <laughs> You're not going to sunburn these. You can't overdo it. As long as you keep the heat down on the lens, like I said, about six inches minimum. I said I've got a light stand over there. I actually got several. I got ones on miniature tripods like this that I use that actually have a, a screw in socket that I use on my metal table. I just removed this unit. Yeah. I put in my, uh, my, uh, my light bulb uh, socket, and uh, this is how I remove the yellowing from these radioactive lenses. The great thing about this is, is that if you go on eBay and you want these lenses, the more yellowed the lens is, the more likely they are to sell it cheap. He's like, yeah, that lens is pretty yellow. And you get it cheap. So you get two or three of them. You know, buy one for your buddy. Uh, clear them all. Once you've cleared it, I mean, for the rest of your life, you're not going to have to worry about the yellowing on that lens. So Anyway, you're building a tent, six-inch distance minimum, no closer than that. You need to use a fan. Okay, I have, can't emphasize that enough. Just go on eBay and type in UV bulb. Uh, this one's a 75 water. Yeah. And uh, this is what you want. So the total cost, you've already got the aluminum foil. You've already got uh, the little tiny fan in your house somewhere. Everybody does, basically. So you're only going to be out $4 for the UV bulb to de-yellow the thorium-doped radioactive lenses. These... These uh, are, I've got so many of these lenses. I, I have no need at this time to de-yellow these. I've already got five that I've de-yellowed, removed the yellowing out of, so I'm not really concerned about it. I mean, five lenses is enough. You know, if I get the itch and I get extremely bored one day, I guess I'll de-yellow these also. But uh, once you're done, you'll have a perfectly clear lens that is suitable for video use. You know, because that's an issue if you're going to use these lenses for video. They have a neat look, and of course they have incredible bokeh. That's the reason why people buy these radioactive lenses. Some of them, not all of them. By the way, the most radioactive, I got one right over here, the most radioactive lenses. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sure you can't right there. It says, Fuji! <laughs> these are really, because I got Geiger counters, these are the most radioactive. Fujifilm lenses. Yeah, there's a lot of radioactive thorium in a Fujifilm lens. Anyway... Thank you so much for watching. This is called Having Fun with Aluminum Foil and UV Bulbs. <sighs> yep. Surprised this wasn't isn't dead yet. I've got, well, I don't have that much time. i got like five dead. Well, I've got maybe 96 hours on this bulb. 
I mean, another design to go a lot longer than that. Whatever you do, by the way, don't get your eyes while this is on close to this. It's like it would seem not that bright, but there's a lot of energy coming out of this. So don't stare at this bulb and don't get your eyes close to it. It's like, oh, it's not very bright. In UV, it is really bright. It will damage your eyes, okay? You don't stare at UV bulbs. Do I even need to actually mention that as a precaution? Do I need to? Is it like not obvious enough? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like these videos. If you do, you can always click the link below and that's how you de-yellow your radioactive thorium doped lenses. Thank you.